All right, no intro, no intro. Let's just go. Ooh. Babe, I must confess. Yeah. You've been running in circles in my head. Oh, I could have a thousand dreams about beauty queens and all the things, but Ooh. they don't compare to you. Yeah. Cause when you walk in the room, you shine. Oh, it don't make sense, do no. I don't believe it's true. Welcome back to our channel. I was not. Now you just did to me what I did to Meredith. Head was, was down. Perfect intro. <laughs> okay, go again. Welcome back to our channel. That one wasn't good. That one. The first one was way better. Okay. I'm sorry, I wasn't ready. Are you ready? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Episode three, and we're here with a very special guest. Lauren Jones. Yay. Everything that she is about to say tonight is Southern Authority approved. Yes. We value her opinion, and so should everyone else. No but pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. Thank you. Lauren is an incredible photographer here in Savannah, who you might have seen much of her work this year. Savannah Magazine, mm -hmm. Savannah's Best. Oh, just me on the cover. Look who it is. Oh, and that haircut. Subtle look. Look at, look at that. Look. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, okay. Um, that, was a, that was an old reference. But look at that sweet picture. Maybe. Oh, I love it. Maybe oh wait. Hold team. on. It's my whole family. <laughs> wow. I see what this is really all about. Yeah. Okay. okay this is Kelsey. Put. Should I walk away? <laughs> Should I leave? This one is so great. Okay. But you can definitely check out more of... I just almost called you Meredith. Sorry. Um, Lauren's work. <laughs> Thank you. At Hey, it's Lauren Jones, right? Yeah. At Hey, it's Lauren Jones. And we'll link that in the description as well. Yes, we'll so say it's everything. Easier to Thank you. Welcome. To Thank you. We're Hi. so excited to have you on. I'm excited to be here. On a poof. Thank you, yes. So, how's. <laughs> So glamorous. I'm like watching her pour her water like it's like champagne. Not even water. sparkling water. It's, uh -uh. Not it's just, it's not, uh -uh. It's just, just water. water. It's just regular water here. Mm -hmm. Um, how's everything? Amazing. Happy to be here. Yay! Um, what are you working on right now? Anything fun? Anything new and exciting coming up? Ooh, I am working on a shoot for the Fat Radish here in Savannah. Oh, actually, nice. I'm yes. going there tonight. Oh my gosh! Good. I, You're gonna love it. Okay. I want to go. Just, I just need to know what the duck fries are. <laughs> yes, I actually need to know what that is too okay. because that mortifies me. It's just well, like it's duck, duck, fat. Fat. duck fat. Duck fat. Duck oh. fat fried. Yeah, it's, it's just like, fried and duck yeah, fat. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. fried. Oh, like, okay. I need to, like, it's like duck fingers. Or like, <laughs> I'm like, um. <laughs> that sounds amazing. No. The duck fries. Um, that's exciting. I can't wait to see that. But it's like a fashion take on food. Well, that's like perfectly your vibe because I feel yeah. like you always have the touch of food, like I no do. matter what. And I didn't even realize mm -hmm. that until recently where I, I just love combining food with fashion. fashion. Yeah. It's kind of my thing. Well, though. who doesn't love food and fashion? It's, it's like makes the fashion tasteful, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> it really. That is very good. So we have all worked together in mm -hmm. many mm -hmm. different Capacity. shoots True. and... Um, I think that we all kind of, we gel really well in a work setting, but also in a non-work setting. So we're going to talk about Instagram. Mm -hmm. Love it. Don't hold yeah. back. Okay. No filters. Ooh. Pun intended. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> so, we're full of puns today. Meredith has incredibly strong feelings on this subject. So I think I'll let her okay. get off. Okay. Bring it. God, that's a lot. That's a, a lot. lot of pressure. It's a lot. Okay. I am so tired of people face tuning, filtering their whole life. Not mm -hmm. only their whole life, their whole just everything, their bodies, their face. It their is bodies. Ridiculous. What do you mean their bodies? With face tune, you make yourself skinnier, make your butt bigger. Mm -hmm. 
Your boobs bigger. Everything. Your waist small. Well, everything. I'm about to give a double to Ella. They make their nose smaller. Everything. What? But people have to see you in public, though. Right. Like, that's it's like, that happens. About it. like that's like you? more to find. I'd no. rather you know that I had yes. a slightly larger nose than me change it, and then you see me in person. Like, who like, are your oh. friends that they're not telling you, Tyler? I think you have a problem because you're editing not every like single one of your like, photos, yeah. and yeah. that's not how you look. But are you like blocking your family at that point? Because I'm. Pre- for sure, my family would leave a comment like, "I had no idea they." This? Yeah, like your. Chin, I had no your, idea you had reconstructive chin, surgery. Your chin does not look like that. <laughs> Some of these celebrities must have a full time blocker on. Chloe K-Rod. Kardashian is the, the worst. worst. The worst. I can't. It's, it's literally so cringy and sad. Yeah. Okay, you need to follow on Instagram the good, the bad, and the fake. Okay, oh, they call no. they call out everybody. Is, if there's okay. like a Photoshop fail, they point like the it out. Brick is like warping yes. on the mm-hmm. sidewalk. You're like, okay, well, clearly you made your butt bigger. Or a You're lot of times, like, yeah, and this account, like, people will like do the work for the people and send in photos. So like, you see somebody out in real life, they'll send in a photo, oh and then God. they show the celebrities like edited photo, and you're like, really? Yeah, that's not real. You know who's the worst? Kim Zolciak, Beerman. I don't know who that is. She's Atlanta, old Atlanta she, housewife, y'all. But she don't. Body. But she has so she has so much going on with her face, like oh. so much unnatural things that like you don't need Photoshop. Oh my god! I probably don't smell. Y'all, can we get oh face tuned for this fly? But, <laughs> but I mean, it's do I smell? actually sad. <laughs> <laughs> or is it the good energies? Because I right. do, I do hear that fly. Yes. Away. Yes, okay. they're attracted to you. So, okay, from a okay. photographer standpoint, though, like, have you experienced taking a photo for someone and then them changing it so when I, they post yes, it? So, I, yes, I've experienced it all. So, I have a really funny slash bad story where this fashion blogger hired me to do all kind of, like, content creation for mm-hmm. her, did it, got paid for it, and then she asked me, she was like, hey, I would love to pay you extra because... What I do to skin, what I do to a person, is I will remove anything that is not normally there. Right. So if you have a pimple, I will get rid of that. If you have a mole, unless you ask me to get rid of it, I'm not going to get rid of it. If you have, like, you know, wrinkles, like, you need to be very specific about what you want taken off, or I'm not going to. Um, well, that's... Which I love that Well, when you do hair and you. makeup, you correct the things that need to be right. corrected to make the photographer's job a little more enjoyable. Because if, exactly. co- if you're having to correct every aspect of the picture... You can't even enjoy to have taken that picture. Right. Like, right? So this girl that hired me, um, she paid me extra and she was like, okay, I really want you to like take in my arms here. She was wearing a bikini. She was like, take in my side. She was like, I have this weird roll coming out of my high-waisted bathing suit. Like, can you just tuck this, this, and this? And then I'm like, okay, like... Like, should we redo the photo shoot? Right, so I kind of felt weird about it. I'm like, I don't know, like, my stance on this. Like, is she just going to do it herself and it looks bad or do I do it? So I did it. She then posts a blog post about, like, feeling, like, so beautiful naturally, like, love yourself, hashtag, you know, no filter. I'm like, do you know what I just did to your body that you asked me to do? So after that, my new stance on it is, like, I will tweak a pimple, I'll tweak a flyaway if your hair is frizzy, whatever, but I'm not going to warp your stomach i'm not gonna warp anything yeah you know and you well hear, you don't feel good about that no i'm like because it's not what you, you photographed right and like it's, it's one thing place. to have good lighting good angles sure. but it's a totally different thing to completely change like, yeah but then you're not only doing that to what other people see but then you're doing that for like to yourself mm-hmm. where you can't even right. look at a photo of yourself and without and changing it. yeah well, how do you look at yourself you? in person, like in the mirror, when you don't have Lauren there to mm-hmm. like tweak, tweak your everything. body? Like that's right. wild to me. I, I I couldn't fathom looking at myself if that's what I was used to seeing from myself. And I've had oh, yeah. friends like you know, we'll like take a selfie or something, and they'll be like, "Ooh, send that to me before you post it on Insta Story, so I can tweak my nose in this photo, or so I can tweak this." And I'm like. If it's so bad, if you have such body Don't dysmorphia, use the picture. Yeah, yeah. If you can't just post, if you can't have someone post something in an Insta story, you know? Yeah. yeah. That, I would that, never. That would problem. But that is a thing because I have taken pictures with people and this is totally understandable, but like I've taken pictures with people and they're like, will you like whiten my teeth? I'm like, no bitch, I'm not whitening <laughs> your teeth. I'm not whitening my teeth. Right. Like yes. yours can be just as rotten as mine <laughs> right. in the photo. Yeah. Like. 
I have had that happen and it's like one of those things where it's like you don't even want to post a picture anymore. It's like why what is the picture worth if I have to go and do all that? Like Yeah. Yeah. Like it takes the whole energy out of the picture. Like yeah. for me personally. I just like that's a lot of work. And don't I, I get me wrong, I've had my fair share of editing. Like, no, I don't edit my nose and, like, my stomach and my arms. Like, that's yeah. a little much. Right. I'm not going to spend that much time and effort on a picture, though. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, that's got to take a lot of time, especially if you post daily. Like, if you mm -hmm. really do, this is mm -hmm. what you do. Some people's full-time job is, like, Instagram model or, like, influencer. And don't even get me started on the... I have a whole conspiracy theory. I'm not even going to get into it. Yes, now. conspiracy. <laughs> okay. Yes. About another an influencer who has over a million followers and she edits her nose in every single photo. Mm. I'm not even going to get into it right now. Whew. I just think because if just... she does a video, you can see it is completely different. I just hate I like. Busted. Busted. Yeah, I just hate when there are like those photos or something like, especially posting beauty photos um, and. Oh, we had this go, conversation, I right? and all day long. I was like oh. so specific about when you shot right. my beauty product. Was like, please don't, right? And you sent me the raw, yeah, and images. It's, it's such a <laughs> like, weird, it's such a weird time to be a photographer, especially in the beauty industry, because, like, I feel like half of the wave of people is like no filter, unretouched. Like you look at you look at airy campaigns. Yes. They're not retouching the cellulite and they're not retouching stretch, stretch marks, marks. And yeah. I love that. But then the other half is like they want this like surreal, dreamlike beauty it's complete, look. Complete like porcelain. Yeah. Like. And so it's kind of like you I I feel the pressure to do both, both. You know, to do whatever my client needs, but it's kind of a weird like but moral I choose, dilemma. I choose you as a photographer because you don't do all that. That's true. You don't over edit. And that's why, like, even for Chapel Hair, with all of our ads and our photos, like, I chose you because I want them to look, to look raw. Mm -hmm. I want them to look real. I want them to not be oversaturated with edits. Like, I hate that. Uh, I just think we're getting to the point, too, on Instagram where people are just over it. And they can see it. And yeah. they're just kind of like, I'd rather, I'd rather go on stories and follow the person that just rolled out of bed who's like, this is me. I feel like it is just... So much more relatable to see someone who shows themselves with no makeup on mm -hmm. or whatever and then does show themselves with makeup on right, right. at the crime either. yeah it's like no i look both of these ways yeah, exactly <laughs> this is it's how i drop way. off my kids at <laughs> right. school and this is how i pick them up like it can look like a completely different person you're not changing yourself yep. essentially no, just... but i think we're getting back to that a little bit more. Agreed. I, agree. I think Agreed. that, okay, maybe with people like our age, but I think with the younger mm -hmm. crowd, yeah, yeah. like, you know, a lot of Girl, my employees, okay, but the, a lot of my <laughs> employees at the store and my sister is like 22 and she, my sister is beautiful. Like, Gorgeous. we're going to have to post a picture of her because she's stunning. <laughs> but she put on Twitter the other day, like, I feel pretty until I get on Instagram. Hmm. And I was like, that are is... you kidding me? Like, they don't realize the editing that does go on and they mm. think Kylie Jenner is like a god right. and they don't Jenner get it she edits so much and do you so weird. you think that fil the filler and all that looks good in real life like as much as she has gotten mm -hmm. done it does not look good in I real can life. actually vouch for that because I've seen her in person no, like look her, she looks weird like yeah. everything is yeah, like, like her I cheeks mean, are pointy her there's, her lips are pointy like it's people need to understand too is like you as a hairstylist and a makeup artist me as a wardrobe stylist you as a photographer mm -hmm. and you as a boutique owner and somebody who is constantly loaning out items to mm -hmm. get pictures mm -hmm. and everything there is things that you do on set and with lights and cameras mm -hmm. and poses and everything that you would never do in real life sure. but we do these things to get a specific image and then that's it mm -hmm. and but so when true. people that's are thinking that that is how literally people walk around like right. posing like i'm sorry i'm not sitting here like i am though <laughs> <laughs> like I, I i am i can't You're lie there on a couch like holding a yes cake. i'm a taurus like i get <laughs> i get ready I to like have a night in like, I'm always ready, honey. Like, I'm always posed up. Are you up. always, like, glammed up? No. 
Okay. I'm right. just always aware. So your hair yeah. might be just kind of deflated, no makeup, and like that's okay too. Yeah. Yeah. I, yes. But I just I think people okay. need to understand like <laughs> right. the difference between a full on lighting system, which right. so many people. I mean, you can buy a ring light on Amazon. Like you can yeah. buy light. You can do all of these things. It's accessible. And a lot of people are taking pictures with these added accessories. Yes. And that's not what your iPhone actually captures. This is what you've added to the photo mm -hmm. to make it look a certain way. And then yes. your face tuning yeah. or putting a filter. Right. Or I love the Paris things. filter though on Instagram That's story. That's the only filter I use. I don't face But you know tune. what? I like it for the color. Like yeah. the way it does the colors. Yes. But and I like how it blurs in. the background ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. That's why I use I it. Use this. Oh, it's I like, the it's first like a one. Selfie mm -hmm. filter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change. It changes like everything. It doesn't like gloss over your face I mean, a little bit. Like it, it, like it glazes over your face okay, a little I mean, bit, if you will. But it's not one of the filters that's distorting. You know how no, people put on. Your, yeah. it's, you know how you people put on. Not like not like her. What's the filter like the Not like her. The lashes, like you know what I mean, that makes you look your eyes bigger. Yeah, and it like sucks in your cheeks, and you're like. But there are people that won't film a video without one that of those. That is true. Yeah, we know her, There's honey. That's very true. On there. Like, it's you can't, you can't do that. But I do think that, like, there is this shift in Instagram. I don't know, has, has Instagram, like, taken away the likes on your photos, like, where it doesn't show the likes? It's taken away mine. It's taken away mine. Yeah. Away. yeah. It hasn't taken away mine, but like, girl, I'm like, I haven't done like four upgrades. Like, <laughs> like, no, I think I it's just automatic. Oh, like, okay. Just do I, it? No, but they haven't. I, I love that. I think that is the Agreed. best. Because you're like, not comparing your picture to another person's picture based on the likes. But and, I don't think it's, I don't think it's that. I think it's more of people in general. Mm -hmm. They put so much time and energy with the lights and with all these things. And they think that they just mm -hmm. took the most bomb ass photo they've ever seen and they post it and they get not the likes they anticipated and their whole world comes crumbling down right and they're like what is my life girl i get like, like 24 likes and i'm like yes bitch i must <laughs> be in a like, good place even use hashtags like we all yeah know, you don't need them hashtags to get like, oh likes. it's a rap lyric in the caption <laughs> it's a hip-hop lyric in the caption and a, I and a vibe in the picture honey that's I all we need think that that is <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I don't, I don't love a lot of things that Facebook does, but I commend them on taking that away. And for anyone who has a business, like we all own businesses mm -hmm. and a lot of our business depends on social media. Yeah. You can still see the likes. Just go in there and right. look at you the analytics. Like you can personal. see, yeah. yeah. And look, cause you know, there's people out there that are like, oh, it's going to decrease like my business and no. this is how I make a living. Yeah, you also probably bought a lot of followers. Like fucking all of us make a living. Right. <laughs> like, that goodness. bo like uh. I, like that bothers me because I can't enjoy social media if my followers aren't how genuinely can you engaging live with, with me. Yourself yeah, knowing that you bought fake people. Like how do you go to sleep at night and like Oh, look at all of the fake people that liked my photo. They're fake. Now, like, are there websites for, like, there's a website you go to and buy that? I don't oh, know like how. Tons of, sure. There's tons of different services. They've that, even got it to where now it's not just the fake followers. It's like fake, fake commenters. Comments. Yeah, they're just oh. yes. And, they yes. and they're through. commenting on your photo, and, too. I mean, Girl, I'll be deleting comments. If I don't know them, I delete them. So I couldn't even imagine just, buying I've that. I've had some weird ones. You've had yeah. some weird ones. I get, yeah, I get just weird. But I think it's just because <clears throat> they follow those hashtags. Like, yeah. so I want to touch on like a hit, like yes, social I, media I for like this. the hair aspect. Yes. So for me, the hair, the hairstyles that post on Instagram. Okay. I don't agree with that. I don't. <laughs> Like, I, can't, I don't even know where to start. Maybe I should have and had something that like, water. I don't even know where to start because I can tell you, A, I had a client when I left the salon I was working at. Like, I had a client. I couldn't take care of her. I told her where to go. Well, she started following a stylist that used to work with me that, you know, her Instagram was beautiful. It's perfect. There's no flaw about it. Well, she goes in, she books with this stylist because she follows her on Instagram right. and she goes in and her hair is like trashed, like literally broken off, fried, not what she wants, like 
completely opposite than like the picture she judged the stylist off of. Her portfolio. B, a picture tells nothing about hair to me. No. If I can't see the hair move, I can't tell what the color looks like. If I can't tell what the color looks like, I can't tell what the stylist is capable of. A picture is not how you're gonna, going to choose your stylist. And the story. But not only that, but can't you just pick off, like if I'm a stylist, let's say that like I am a hairstylist and I want to create this facade on Instagram that I can do all of these things. Can't you just freaking go on Pinterest and like Definitely. take some pictures, like just copy yes. and mm -hmm. then make it look like I can do all of these things? Well, not even that. It's that the fact that when you take a picture of hair, that's one angle of that hair. Mm -hmm. True. They've added a filter. They've taken yeah. up the brightness. They've lowered the shadows of the photo all to make that hair look seamless. So then yeah. how do you find so then, yeah, how do you trust? You find a salon that you're interested in and you go in and you have a consultation with the stylist yeah. and you you decide based on the knowledge that they're telling you. And I know that clients don't know hair and they don't know what hair needs, but you can tell a person that truly knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to know what they're talking about, the way they talk about it, the way the way that they explain your hair, the way that they, you know, find solutions to your hair, no matter what it is, that's what you judge. That's how you find your hairstylist. Like, there's nothing better than that one-on-one -on -one in person interaction because that stylist on Instagram, you may get into your appointment and be miserable the whole time yeah. because you know nothing about what that stylist is like. I feel like still with hair, it's 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 word of mouth. You know what I mean? Like Meredith has great mm -hmm. hair, Lauren has great hair, Tyler has great. Where do you go? And that's you word of mouth. Tell exactly. Like that's how I, that's how you and I met. Is like one of my coworkers had long hair. She comes in the next day with like the cutest little pixie cut. And once I saw that, I knew if someone can cut mm -hmm. short hair, they are skilled. And I cut so, her hair from here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, so, okay, who did your hair? Right. And she showed me Tyler on Instagram. And I was like, okay, so I have to meet this person. He is going to be. Y'all, right. she came in with these low lights and these highlights. <laughs> Honey, I like died right then. <laughs> like I completely like died right there. She was too good for that hair. Like. <laughs> end of story like I felt so bad so this is where we are now and I couldn't imagine yeah, it's so much better but I couldn't imagine your hair any different than what it is now oh, yeah. though like yeah. it's so wild to me like how you can take a person and you can fit a stylist can figure out who that person is and then do their hair around that because just because a person tells you what they want and just because a client leads you to believe they're a type of person like that doesn't mean anything like it take for me my clients they they can tell me three things and i already because you can have a client here and a client here well this client wants a partial foil this client wants a partial foil too but they don't necessarily have the vision of the same partial foil mm -hmm. in their head like it just depends on just say this client doesn't like to style her hair she wants it to look very natural and this client wants it more saturated, but it's still a partial foil. Like you have to know that person's personal style and know who they are and know what they're willing to do with their hair. I was gonna say also how they're willing to style their hair because I mean, we've all been there where yes. it's like we leave your chair and then we go home mm -hmm. and we're like, how do we do, do this? Yeah, like yeah. what now, what do we do? Yeah. <laughs> like, well, even so. with Meredith and Lauren, I do both of their hair. Like she could say she wants balayage mm -hmm. and she can say she wants balayage, but their balayage looks totally different and I balayage both of them. Yeah. And I sometimes also, I balayage in a foil. Sometimes I balayage outside of a foil. Like it just right. all depends on the placement of the color and what I feel like the client's personal style is. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I know when I am in Tyler's chair, I can't, I don't say anything. I just show up mm -hmm. and say, do your thing. Yeah. Do you do the same thing? Mm -hmm. I'm never like. I didn't at, like, there was one point where I'm like, oh, I want to go darker. And then, like, I hated it. So we yeah. exactly. did. And then I wanted she to. She called me a week later. And then I Basically. wanted to, like, cut my hair. And we cut it short. And then I had hair extensions for, like, eight mm -hmm. months or something. Mm -hmm. but, but now that, I just let him do it. But that was oh, the yeah. learning, learning experience. Like, I didn't know that she wouldn't like darker hair. We had do, been doing her hair lighter, mm -hmm. but she come in 
to the salon with darker hair. Yeah. So when she says she wants to go darker, I'm like, okay, we'll go darker. You're yeah. comfortable with that. But once she, I feel like when uh, Meredith is like the perfect example, I felt like Meredith came into her own. She learned her personal style. I feel like it all started with her hair. Love that. Right? Once, yeah. once she found that so we've, vibe, like growing a lot since like we first. Met. Yeah, like, and that's like, but that's why is because I always considered you. It wasn't necessarily mm -hmm. me. Like it wasn't but I about feel me. Like not everyone else does that. Everyone else is just like sit in the chair. Okay, I'll do what you want because exactly. you're the client. This is what I'm at. Like this mm -mm. is what you're telling. I me. have to represent it 100. percent If I can't happily represent my work then i'm not doing it i don't care if i lose that client or not honey we're not made for each other if if <laughs> if we can't come to like a happy medium like yeah. we're not i'm not the stylist for you just like i remember in the beginning of my career a lot of like the middle-aged women they wanted those like chunky highlights mm -hmm. baby I, what? we don't know her like <laughs> we don't know if you yeah. can pick up the highlight we ain't doing it like you know what i mean yeah. like that's what sets me apart from the rest of the stylists. And you should trust the expert. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like people should come to you yes. because of your expertise. Just like when people come to me with their full idea of what they want for a photo shoot, I know it's going to be more successful if they just kind of let me do my mm -hmm. thing. Like, mm -hmm. give me your idea. Let me run with it. And same for hair. Like, I'm not going to go on Pinterest and make a board to show you what to do to my yeah. hair. Like, you know what my hair mm -hmm. needs. If you, you were to bring her. me a Pinterest board, I would be like... You would kick me out, I think. I'd be like, please leave, Lauren, like, <laughs> and come <laughs> back when you know one style you want. But right. I think that that just goes, like, to, like you're saying, like, you have to trust, you have to trust yeah, when you go to you. But the stylist has to, they they have to convince the, the stylist with their knowledge. Like, mm -hmm. that's how you trust. Because I'm not going to say you should just go in and trust the hairstylist, because that's not always, that's not always accurate. That's true. Like yeah. you can, just because you have a, a certificate does not mean that you exactly are so like, like really I just feel like a very thorough kind of get to know each other because to me that's what a consultation is is like a chance to get to know that client before she comes in and sits in my chair and I'm I have that pressure of doing her hair exactly how she wants and not having the time to do what she may not realize that she wanted yeah well I think that. We've all learned it's not all real on Instagram. Even though, I mean, we should have already known that. Like, I, that's something that just bothers me is like, this is when people are like, I'm just being real now. If you go on Instagram and think anything is like real, like you just got to step back and stop and just close Go the, to rehab, close the, you're exhausted. Just close the app. Like, close go it. To I mean, people real. be like, this is my makeup look, but it took them two hours to get it. Like, okay, no, thank go you. Go do no. something else. Close the damn app and like reevaluate <laughs> your life. Well, one thing on that though, like that I can say, these beauty influencers are the worst. Are the worst. They have so much filler and Botox and procedures and lasers on their face. Baby, of course it's gonna look good on them. Of they don't course, have a wrinkle right. in sight. Yes, it don't settle in, but it don't settle in their fine lines. Baby, you don't have fine lines. Like, <laughs> how about a person with not. fine lines like myself? Like I have fine lines around my eyes and I'm okay with that. But you can't tell me that this is not what this foundation yeah. does when you don't have that. Right. But they so promote like, a different foundation on every video a different and foundation, they get paid on every little up. affiliate link. There's a commission. Like, you have to read between the lines, like, yes. and really do, like, like, look at who you're following and make sure that, I go through it all the time where I just, like, binge and I just get yes. rid of people because oh I'm God. like, I yes. can't take you anymore. I'm going to mute you. I know you. See, I never, I never do that. I cut my But I also half. don't get on Instagram and I don't scroll and, like, look. Like, I just get on, let the world know I'm okay. That's For the people healthy. who I care about to let them know I'm alive <laughs> and relevant that. still. But I don't relevant. scroll through... <laughs> I don't scroll through. I just have to let them bitches know I have still arrived, honey. Like, I'm still out doing well. Well, basically... I have it for my clients. And I don't... I mean, yes. Like, I don't have it yeah, for my own personal... Slope. It doesn't... It, it doesn't shape and define anything about me personally. So... I enjoy Instagram. I do, too. Hopefully, and that's why it's slippery slope. Mm -hmm. If anyone has learned anything from this, just, just be careful on Instagram. You know, just question things a little bit more and just yeah. know that it's not reality. Mm -hmm. You know, step back, live in your reality, which is probably 
beautiful and wonderful and easy and easy and easy simple don't yeah don't these people are miserable but you can follow us on instagram there she comes (laughs) (laughs) okay well i think that's this episode lauren thanks for thank you yeah see you guys